Live Learn. long and prosper, nerds. Experiment. Hello, YouTube. Yeah, I'm gonna do a super duper experiment. I've always wanted to see this, YouTube. Well, this is a surprise and a shocker, YouTube. Uh, Publix is closed today on Easter Sunday, and yet every single restaurant in town here is open today. Um, I doubt Trader Joe's is open, but take a look. So it looks like I'm headed to Trader Joe's today, being that they close at five and I'm meeting my friends at three. So, um, I'm probably gonna pick up a salad and maybe one other thing, but I have some leftovers from last night's uh, Passover Seder from my synagogue where I went. And uh, I have some coconut macaroons, which is an absolute favorite. I have some brisket. I was gonna get a rotisserie chicken today, then I saw the brisket and I thought, hmm, even better. And there was quite a lot because it was catered uh, at last night's Seder. So um, anyway, uh, what am I up to before I cross the street? Uh, this week, it's Autism Awareness uh, Week, or it's officially the start of Autism Awareness Month. I have been doing a lot of things like crazy. Today, I am uh, shooting a vlog. Um, I've also uh, been suggested to uh, put myself out there with more things related to Autism Speaks as they're becoming more autism acceptance friendly and I'm really happy about that. I know that some autistics would probably find it offended or offensive and they'd probably look at it as quote tokenism, but you can't always look at the glass half empty. You have to look at it half full. And in this case, sure, they're using you for, to uh, for a pretty window decoration, but hey, there are lots of um, families out there that are going to look at your information and in my case I have a vlog and there are more people that are going to learn about my vlogs and learn about my interest in the autism airport rehearsal tours so I wrote a couple of articles and then last year I was uh, published in an article through the Georgia pediatrician and I never got word back and so a couple weeks ago I just found out that uh, I was published in this article when I was uh, putting some important products uh, into our database at work. And I, I want to mean products, I mean citations. And I stumbled upon a, a PDF online and sure enough, uh, my article was in there about uh, growing up, uh, facing uh, screening for individuals with autism. So that's really exciting. And this week I have two opportunities to engage with Temple Grandin, which I'm super excited about. One is tomorrow, she's going to be on Autism Live. Um, and two, uh, I'm going up to Athens to see her in person at a seminar and I'm gonna take the day off work and take, uh, get a ticket to go up there through Megabus, which is ridiculous because it's Athens, Georgia, and they're charging $30 round trip for me just to go up there. It's like, what? Why are they doing that? Why can't it just be $15 round trip or even better, $8 round trip? Because I mean, Athens, um, let's face it, it's just a couple hours away. now. I can understand a $30 round trip ticket from Atlanta to Savannah or a $30 round trip ticket from, um, I don't know what you call it, uh, Atlanta to Orlando, but $30 to Athens, Georgia, boo hiss. Looks like I'm in luck. This uh, Trader Joe's is open. I'm just gonna go in and go out, pick up some veggies, I was thinking of carrots and some salad and um, a few other things to drink, but I'm good to go. I went ahead and uh, bought that cooler or that uh, insulated bag because um, the cooler that I had before was just, it was old. I kept bumping into it or kept bumping into me and it hurt my feet a lot. And I never use it anymore. So I just thought that the cooler had had it and 
Trader Joe's has a couple of insulated bags. I'm gonna buy another one too so that I can do more picnics and probably carry more perishable items and whatnot. But I've simply decided not to go to Temple's uh, talk all the way up in Athens. I know why the site in 360, even though I talked about it earlier. Number one, I've just decided I don't wanna spend $30 just to go up to here for an hour and go back home again. Um, and besides, um, I'm gonna hear her uh, talk tomorrow right after work, so that's kind of a treat. Um, and I just emailed her about Stephen Hawking and both of us agree that uh, we think he might have been on the spectrum somewhere before he developed ALS. So without further delay though, I'm on my way uh, off to meet my friends.